Hey girls, Mama Girls here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a little eyeshadow moment. We have not been talking about eyeshadow for an eternity, truth be told here. What was the reason? I don't know why, but in the last time I just got really bored of these big old palettes where there are so many colors in there where I'm like, well, I could use this maybe once. So I was like, you know, keeping my hands off eyeshadows, I was not really confident investing money in these. Until I stumbled upon these babies. The Le Phyto Ombre Eyeshadow, or is it Phyto? I'm not sure, Phyto, Phyto? By Sisley. I have never in my life bought once a single eyeshadow. But I do think that this is a trend and I really wanted to try these by Sisley. I have tried the cream eyeshadow sticks by Sisley and I love them. I love them so so much. I've been wearing them nearly every single day actually for work because they're just very beautiful, very subtle and it just gives this beautiful nourishing feel when you wear them for quite a while. So they're very emollient. And I actually wanted to know how the powder shadows might perform. So we bought two of these and we're gonna actually try them today for the first time. It's gonna be an eyeshadow wear test and we're just gonna see how it all works. If you're interested what my opinion is on these beauties, then just keep on watching. You could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we're heading for the millions. At least in my head. But if you subscribe, we're ahead and follow in real life too. Don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Normally every Monday to Saturday. That's wrong again. Oh my god. Every Tuesday to Saturday. I'm sorry. I'm on the verge of heading off to work and I'm a little all over the place. But I took my notes on my phone to actually tell you all the information I want to tell you. So no worries there. But every Tuesday to Saturday, uh, 4 p.m. Central European time, which is 7 a.m. California Standard Time. Five videos a week, and without further ado, let's just hit the intro. So, the Lifito Ombre eyeshadows by Sisley are eyeshadows that have a hybrid texture. So, they're half powder, half cream, which I think Michelle Wang calls baked gelée. I have never tried a product like this, but I did prepare myself and brought a lot of different eyeshadow brushes. They have a very unique texture and feeling to them. So I really, you know, want to make the best out of these. They intensify your look immediately and give you a tint of color on your lids. They come in 20 varieties of shades and three different formulas. Silky, matte and sparkling as far as I'm concerned. No, actually I'm just checking my sources again. Five different formulas. So it's silky, matte, sparkling, metallic and glow. But I do think the glow is quite similar to sparkling, but probably has a little bit less micro glitter in here. We have a silky shadow here and a sparkling one. I have the shade 20 silky chestnut and 14 sparkling topaz. We're gonna take a closer look at these in a second. They're made in Italy and you get a weight of 0.05 ounces or 1.5 grams for the retail pricing of 41 euros per piece. This formula specifically is suitable for sensitive skin, which is amazing. They are durable and long wearing and they never look too much. Okay, that's something we're gonna have to try out. So we're gonna have to pack it on, I guess. For the ingredients, so basically they have natural oils in there. One of them is Camilla oil, which I love in eyeshadows. I think the shadow sticks also had Camilla oil in them. And they also feature plant-based active ingredients such as green tea and white lily oil. I'm gonna throw up the full ingredient list here. They vary obviously from the shades and the finishes, which is quite clear actually. As far as I'm concerned, they are formulated without talc, which is a reason why these are priced very, very highly. Also, they feature glycerin in them as far as I'm concerned. Yes, ethyl glycerin. So for me personally, I think I've never owned eyeshadows that have a better formulation than this one's. But the most important thing obviously is how they perform. 
So let's open the shade Sparkling Topaz. They come in a very, very small compact. It's this black packaging with the white sisley on it, same as on the mascara. This is the So Stretch mascara, my favorite mascara currently. So it's like matchy matchy, very minimalistic, very chic. Once you open it up, the product looks like this. So you have the eyeshadow pan itself, you have the little applicator that actually spells out Sisley, and you have a mirror, a generously sized one actually for this compact. So this is the sparkling formula, the one that really caught my eye even in stores. It just reflects in the most beautiful way. So this one features a little bit of micro glitter, but nothing too dramatic. I would suggest we're just gonna swatch it and ruin the beautiful imprint, unfortunately. Okay, so there's little to no fallout, I would say. That's the, ooh, okay, wow. Ooh, do we see that? I love when Sisley does powders because they do them so well. It's non-powdery powders. It's insane, really, honestly. Let's swatch the second one. It's so horrible to ruin this beautiful imprint. Ooh, the silky shade most definitely has a subtle reflex to it, but nothing micro glitter-esque and nothing metallic. We're gonna use silky chestnut as a little base moment and then sparkling topaz as the halo eye moment, I guess. I have primed my lids on this side using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. That's my eyeshadow primer. It just makes eyeshadow stay on for the whole day. And on this side, I did not prime it. So normally I would use a pecker brush. So either this real hair one or this one by Crayola. This one is not as densely packed as this one. And I think with Baked Chalet, you should use densely packed products. However, I do remember someone mentioning that they don't like using real hair bristle brushes with Baked Chalet. So we're just gonna try using a Crayola one. This is the eyeshadow brush number 1707. This one is my, one of my faves. Ah, uh, okay. So that's what everyone's been talking about. Do you see that? The product is not showing up and that's not because the product is non-pigmented. It's just because of the formula and the way it got uh, made. So we're gonna try out the thick uh, real hair bristle brush. I'm not sure if now, I think they said to not use them, but we're gonna try it. There's literally no fallout, maybe one or two crumbles. Okay, that works. It performs like cream. That's insane. Okay, I love the formula already. Let's try the applicator on the other side. So on this side, again, a reminder, we have not primed. Wow, okay, stop it here. That works actually quite fine. So we're gonna add a little more oomph to all of this because now we're gonna add the shade Sparkling Topaz. On one side we're gonna use the applicator. We could we could try with that right now. Ooh, okay, I, I like it though. I'm gonna use the finger for the next eye actually. Let's see. Okay, I like the finger better than the applicator. I'm gonna go in on the other side, wow. There's no fallout by the way, no. Maybe one or two crumbles, but nothing, nothing where you should be, you know, worried about. Oh, that blends beautifully. So you guys assumed you in, that's the eye look. I think it's beautiful. I do want to say I really, really like especially the sparkling formula, sparkling topaz. Wow. For the application, you either use a very, very densely packed, preferably real hair bristle brush or the finger. You guys, I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day. I have a busy work day in front of me, but I'm very motivated and excited because I want to see how this eyeshadow look performs. Again, primer, no primer. So, keep that in mind. Hey you guys, so I just want to quickly show you how the makeup looks in real daylight. So that's the shadow. I did went ahead and added a little brow highlight because I felt it was necessary. I just love brow highlights. And the uh, sparkling topa shade was a little bit too deep for me to use it as a highlight because you, like, look, look, um, I'm literally the color for that body. And I added a little bit of mascara. I did not do that in the first beginning video. I don't know why. I'm all over the place today. 
I'm gonna actually head over to work a little bit earlier than I need to and just gonna use the spare time to edit a video. So it's gonna be a very long day, but that's perfect for a makeup wear test. For now, it looks fabulous. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come very close to the camera. It looks fabulous, it really does. I, I like, I like how this makeup looks. So we're just gonna see how it wears, I guess. you guys so it's been two hours since the last check-in and I'm currently at work oh my god it still looks fabulous I really like it and that's by the way my work uniform looking cute looking snatched oh yes I'm having a hard time filming with this phone I normally you know like that oh my god I'm like a dinosaur I'm sorry but the eyeshadow very cute very cute also me do you like the uniform? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey guys, so it is nearly 5 p.m. So we've been wearing this for over nine or 10 hours. It's been a long while and actually it still looks good. I do have to say without the powder as a base, it does separate slightly and settle into fine lines. Here with the base, literally nothing. Can you see that way it's here? Like there's a subtle difference, but the eyeshadow itself is very long wearing. Like I like it a lot. Very beautiful. It does not lose color or pigmentation. I do think the little shine of the sparkling topaz got lost a little bit, but nothing horrible. Actually, really, really, really a fan of these shades. Hey, you guys. So I am actually still at work. It is running so late, but I really want to do the final check in. I am inside of the mountain. So I'm currently having a tour and the guests are over there, but they're just watching a film. So I have four minutes time. I just want to say, I really like this product. I think it works amazingly with or without a base. It feels beautiful. It feels emollient, very, very no makeup makeup, but also there is the pigment. So it is makeup, but not too heavy. It's just perfect, perfect day-to-day -day wear makeup and I think you can also use this for special events if you use for example the metallic or the glow finish that I need to try out the next. I love these shadows. I can't wait to play more with them. And I actually planned on ordering more actually this night because they have a special sale at Sisley. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I love them. <laughs> I yeah I'm just so glad um, I'm running late again so I don't do the check-in at home but I thought inside of the mountain. Why not? <laughs> you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell. Don't forget to check out new videos, and we're gonna see us very soon. Mwah. Bye.